some nice eyewear. I also brought my own uh, eyewear. So, uh, <laughs> which one do you like best? How about this one? <laughs> Alright, but now you have eyewear, but what do you do with it? That's really the key question. And our next speaker has been uh, working and thinking about this for several years now. Um, and is here to show us some of the content we're going to use in those glasses. <coughs> and I think it's really amazing how, you know, from just a, you know, esoteric kind of uh, applications, now we're seeing some hardcore business applications that major corporations are interested in investing. And, and that's completely changed the whole landscape of augmented reality. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, give it up to Pete Postel. So I'm Pete Wassell, and I've got a company called Automate, and I think perhaps one of the important things to say is just a couple years ago, I was sitting in this audience uh, at an ARNI meeting, and a couple of us uh, were talking, and we thought, as cool as the technology uh, that they had with AR, we thought so much more could be done with it. Uh, so at the time, there was uh, kind of gimmicky stuff, uh, some agency campaign uh, kind of stuff that was being done with AR. And we thought to ourselves, we could really solve some real world problems with this technology. Uh, so we got together, we created a plan, uh, we built a team, and we started working on projects. A lot of stuff that we did was very strategic in the beginning. Uh, we built a content management system to be able to pull content and bring it into someone's field of view uh, with the eyewear. Uh, we built a foundational API, which does computer vision, uh, that we'd be able to build our apps on top of. So for each rollout that we did with the company, we'd have a, a starting place. Uh, so we did some things strategically, and that took a while to do. But once you have those internal assets, it's a little bit easier to approach the market. Uh, so I'm going to talk about a, a couple things. I'm going to show you a, a video. Um, working with Fortune 500 companies is interesting in that uh, it's a long sales cycle. So that's the first thing you should really know. Uh, it could be a year. Uh, the first time that you give a presentation or, or talk about a particular product, it might be a year before they sign a contract. Uh, so it's definitely a long sales cycle and there's a lot of things that you have to do along the way. Now that being said, uh, we're currently working on deals with uh, Walmart, SAP, AT&T, uh, and Toyota. So, uh, it's finally coming to the point, we were in a little bit of a holding pattern, waiting for the technology to catch up, but we're in a really great place right now uh, to be able to deliver solutions. Uh, and the kinds of things that we really think about is, uh, you know, how do you add value to a company? And it's really doing the interviews uh, at those companies at all different levels and finding out uh, what their pain points are. And then what, what's the value proposition that you could really deliver? So the value proposition is, you know, can you save them time, can you save them money, make them more productive, uh, make them more efficient, make their environment more accurate, more safe, those types of things. Uh, and when you do that, you're able to come up with use cases and business cases that have value and you can deliver uh, on those solutions. So again, with a, a long sales cycle, uh, you tend to have a lot of meetings and you're showing them uh, the technology. And this is a video that we put together. Uh, we put it together for Walmart. And because the sales cycle is so long, we like to kind of think a little bit uh, ahead. And I think with some of the eyewear that's coming out, uh, we'll be able to deliver uh, on this promise. So what you're going to see here is uh, some of these things are virtual, a little physical, uh, but they're, they're uh, virtual objects. And so uh, we put together 12 different use cases with Walmart. We were invited to their innovation lab in Bentonville, Arkansas. We'll be sitting there for three months uh, working on projects. Uh, we did both uh, customer experience use cases and we also did employee use cases. So how does their sales associate use this technology? Uh, how does their warehouse vendor use this technology? Uh, all different kinds of use cases. And uh, they listen. 
So Fortune 500 companies are at a point where they're really listening to tech co uh, companies on these kinds of solutions and willing to uh, implement these kinds of solutions. What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? What do we see? So, uh, it's all first person. So uh, what we see is, from a first-person perspective, um, what they can actually see through uh, digital eyewear. Uh, there's a number of different ways that we're uh, showing that you can do this. Uh, some is through use of a uh, barcode. Uh, some of it through indoor positioning. So an uh, indoor mapping, indoor positioning system. Uh, and there's so many different use cases as well. So this is uh, self-checkout, which is something that's interesting to them. If you can do self-checkout, obviously you don't need as many cash registers and cashiers. Um, we showed examples of a product comparison where, uh, you know, just like you do on the web, you've got an ability to uh, compare products within the store. How accurate is indoor positioning? Uh, indoor positioning uh, right now is probably down to about a meter. So you can get things down to a, a meter with Wi-Fi. Uh, the more access points you add, the better. Uh, there's a technology called sensor fusion, which allows you to use uh, Wi-Fi uh, triangulation of the cell phone towers, uh, GPS, and a number of things to get you know as accurate as possible. And then there's uh, there's some steps with learning. So the system, you, you walk around a particular floor map, uh, and the system learns uh, essentially where you're going. This is on this is on YouTube, so we might have lost our our uh, connection. <laughs> uh, this. Anyone have any questions about uh, doing solutions for companies? Yeah, exactly. So uh, we were fortunate. We uh, we started talking with AT and T, and uh, we're talking with AT and T Global Business Solutions. And in fact, they introduced us to Walmart, and we have uh, hundreds of relationships with customers. And uh, if you're fortunate enough to get a, a company, a good partnership is really critical. Uh, so partnerships with digital library companies, uh, partnerships with uh, all, all sorts of different companies are really important. Um, with at and if we do a good job with Walmart, they'll introduce us to more clients and more clients. Uh, so that's that's how we went about it. Not to say that's the only way, but that was one way. Go ahead. Uh, yes. Um, with Walmart, uh, I obviously not everyone's going to have your glasses yet, um, or with your glasses. Um, is, are you going to be applying this with this for cell phone usage, or there, is there going to be a specific area where Walmart actually may provide this, you know, the glasses or some interface? Yeah, so the, the beauty is, because the technology runs on a mobile platform, uh, we're able to use a cell phone to do accomplish the same kind of thing. It's not going to have that same user experience, but it's still uh, effective. And uh, the, the way we're approaching this as well is, we're working with the Walmart employees first. And so we'll work with the distribution center, the warehouses, uh, the sales associates. If you think about it, uh, they, they, we just started brainstorming with AT&T and Walmart, the, the possibilities. And one of the things that we thought was really useful was in training, uh, the ability to bring the internet into the store. So uh, there's 140,000 SKUs at Walmart, so products. Uh, no one can be an expert on all those products. So if you could bring that information from the internet and pipe that into someone's field of view uh, and have direct to eye communication, you can instantly make a sales associate an expert on all those products. They'll be able to give the values to the customer very quickly. So we're starting with the Walmart employees, uh, and then eventually we'll, we'll get to the uh, customers. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, 
so it's, we're showing a couple different use cases here, uh, perhaps even facial recognition and, and some things that we're interested in. Uh, the ability to play, say, a, a movie trailer or a game trailer before you buy it uh, when you come to the store if it's for a customer. Uh, something big for them was stocking, uh, restocking their shelves. So uh, if it's not on the shelf, they can't sell their products. So being able to bring the stuff from the back room to the shelf is something very important, and they were looking for a solution to do that. Uh, so we show a couple different examples of, of how that can be done. Uh, now, every one of these clients is a unique kind of installation. Uh, you have to tie into back-end inventory systems and product systems, uh, so there's always custom work that has to be done. You can have your foundational uh, API, you can have your content management system, you can do all those things, uh, but at the end of the day, the client's going to have very specific needs, and you're going to have to integrate with their systems and take their requirements to deliver the uh, solutions. So, a couple more questions. Yeah. Um, great. So, you said uh, when you do a good job for certain companies and you get referred to other companies, how do you measure the return on investment for these companies? Well, it's a, it's a good question. So, like when we do our value proposition, uh, proposition uh, we'll, we'll do something like we'll say, we can save your workers 20 minutes a day. So, you, it's extrapolation. So, we'd say, well, we know what, we're, uh, what it costs to have those employees. Uh, you take that times 365 days a year, times that by 5,000 employees or 10,000 employees, and you start building your business case. Now, we run things uh, like the scientific method. So we'll have a hypothesis about how we can save a company money, let's say, or do something efficient. You do a, a test.